Hi, this is Bob from Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. And if you're looking for an online tough book community that gives tips, tricks, and support, hit that subscribe and bell button to be notified of our newest videos. Hey guys, this is Bob once again for a rugged rundown. And this week we have some special uh, products sent to us from Durabook. That's right, Durabook was kind enough to let us review their Durabook S14i laptop. It's their semi-rugged unit. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to unbox it so we can see what it looks like and make sure that uh, they sent us the right unit number one. But yeah, they sent this for our review. And I want to just go through it real quick with you. So this is the kind of box it comes in. It's a nice, nice box. Um, we're going to open it up for you guys. And let's take a look in here. So Durabook sends us in. They pat it nice and neat. We got it all packaged up. That's nice. Let's see how we get it out of this bag. There we go. Uh, well, my first impression is it's definitely uh, feels rugged. You know, some of the semi-ruggeds that you get from Panasonic, like the CF54 or the CF53, like on the CF54, does it, this feels much more rugged than the CF54. So the S14i already feels beefy, in my opinion. Uh, this is probably the accessories in here, and we'll go through those here in a minute. But um, this has a uh, stylus pen, you know. You know, it's got a nice location for it here on the side. One thing I noticed on this unit right here is, as compared to, say, the Z14i that we, by the way, reviewed, <coughs> you can check in uh, some of our previous episodes, there was no place to put the uh, pen. But on this nice S14, it seems like they've got a spot for it and a, even a little... Uh, place to tie it off at, which on that S4, uh, Z14i, they didn't have that. Uh, the hinges feel nice and firm and solid. Uh, the keyboard looks to be a backlit, chiclet keyboard. Let's see what it feels like whenever we play with it here a little bit. Yeah, the keys are nice and bouncy. You know how I am about keyboards. Uh, the mouse pad is definitely built into the palm rest, and the Buttons, they feel nice and solid. They're made of hard plastic, not rubber, which in some of those rubber uh, mouse pad or mouse buttons, they get worn out real easy. But with these harder plastic ones, they tend to last longer. Uh, overall view, it's got a webcam up here with a little door to make, you know, to keep your privacy. Um, bottom line, just from first impression, I'm liking it. Some of the, you know, we'll go over this further because I'll, I'll test this out for you guys and give you some uh, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. But yeah, the doors are nice and sturdy to seal up the ports. You've got all of your USB and HDMI. Here's your battery and hard drive. Uh, it's even got a uh, side port for a CD-ROM optical drive. If I can just open it, it would be a beautiful thing. Uh, this particular one, this the one they sent us, does not have that, but you can certainly use the multi-bay port for that. Uh, over here, you've got your battery and that sort of thing. So overall, just initially, I'm impressed. I like it. I like it. It feels sturdier than some of the Panasonic Toughbook CF54 or even the CF53. So let's take a look at the accessories that we got in here. Uh, of course, you get the AC adapter. It uses a Mickey Mouse plug. Uh, it's a standard barrel style. It's a uh, nice AC adapter. I'm sure it works fine. Here's the battery. I'm not going to install it right now, but um, uh, they do ship it in a separate little package. So that's the battery. Um, you know, I want to thank Durabook for sending this out to us so that we could review it for them. I hope that, uh, you know, as we move forward, I'll be doing more videos, obviously. I'm going to be doing what I like and don't like about this unit. Uh, but until next week, you guys, I'll see you.